and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm calling this my haunted canvas. I have truly done maybe four pours on this canvas and each time I either wasn't happy or after I left it to dry, starting to dry, it started to craze and crack. So I just scraped it off onto my pee pad and um, took it out and, you know, wash the canvas off and start again. Now I find that I'm here again. <gasps> I didn't like the last one, so if this does not work on this particular paw now, I am not going there again. I am not doing anything with it I'm not 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 it's going in the bin so wish me luck okie doke I just want to do this I know it's a crazy thing sort of to give me an idea where I want my composition so it's just a bowl just a uh, one of those picnicky bowls I've used it quite often to give me circles and things so there right yeah i want to do i've done these swipey things and loving the um monochrome background okie doke so that's just my normal white is the uh the acrylic paint clear glue dash of flow troll it's in the drop down box my recipe this is black amsterdam paint this is the black amsterdam paint with uh, australian flow troll uh, that's heavy when my husband wants to get in my good books he buys me that flow troll he knows it makes me very happy <laughs> so um easy please don't we us uh acrylic pouring artists radio so I'm sort of want my, I just want the middle bit to be the monochrome. So I'm going to see if I can achieve it, achieve it, achieve it. Let's give this a go. So I've put the black there. So I just want to get the monochrome look before I do any more. And there you go. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, I want to get that back again. It's not perfectly symmetrical to the, you know, so just want to give me a guide. Because I want to keep that monochrome look in the centre. Doesn't matter, I've kind of stuffed up there a bit, but it's just an idea I had in my head, so I'm going to go with it. And I did this kind of spiral pour um, one day last week and it was really um, lovely, blown out, so I'm going to try it again. So gonna, that was my Berry Delicious, which is the uh, dark red with a, ooh, a dash of black. What is it? Dark red. I can't even think now. I've gone blank. Oh, phalo blue. That's it. Dark red phalo blue. So it's kind of spiralling. That is the phalo blue. This is a is cayenne. C Y A N. I think it's spelt blue. So I'm going to keep my blues on the outside. Now this is a turquoise. It might not work, but I had it in my head, so I have to do it. What did I do there? I caught the bottom of the cup on it. Silly Nana. 
Now this is the dark sea and it's got a good dash of the um, pearl mist which gives it like the iridescent look. That's a bit green so I want to keep that on the outside I'm thinking. Maybe I do want to just do a, a centre of that around, might be nice. Look what I've done. I'm a Nelly. Anyway, just go with it. Radio. So, what colour must this be? I can't even find it. Must be. Oh, uh, turquoise beach. It's a lighter blue. Oh, I think that's enough. Let's see what I can create in this centerpiece. Stuffed up there. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. I wish I hadn't have done that, but you know what? I have, so I would just uh, work it through and hopefully Can't cry of spilt milk. Spilt milk. I told you that this canvas is cursed. So after today, if this doesn't turn out, I am binning it. It's bin day tomorrow, and I'm gonna give it a binny death tonight and throw it in the bin if it doesn't work out nice. So behave yourself. Right, just for the centre, let me try a thing. Turn it, turn it. Ooh. I'm really stuffed up with that. But anyway, anyway, I am not going to worry about this cursed canvas. I'm going to get my heat gun now. Just give it a whiz over. So the idea being for doing that in the centre was so I didn't have a complete negative space, just white. Because every time I seem to leave a negative space, which is not very often because I have trouble with negative spaces, but I always get somebody say, oh, you should do something in the centre. Um, so I was thinking of doing something in the centre that isn't too over the top. So that came to mind. Rightio, let's go flow. Let's do this thing. Little dryer, mini dryer. We're gonna needs to go up a notch. Wiggle it. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. Happy, happy. That's beautiful. Nice and slow.
Now that looks weird because it's gone off to one side. Oh, wah. What do I do? What do I do? Do I blow a balloon up and plonk it in? I think I may. If I'd have left that a bigger negative space, I think it would have worked better. But this is gorgeous. This is the chaos blowout. Well, it's my chaos blowout. It's what I've been calling it anyway. It's a chaos blowout. <laughs> oh dear. That's not good to blow up a balloon when you've had a chest infection and not breathing too good. But anyway, right here, let's try this. I might stuff it up, but I've got to do it on the cursed canvas. That's better. I, um, the negative space with that lacing in perfect if I'd have left it a lot bigger but because I got overly excited and started to blow it all out I think that works I'm just gonna plop a little bit of oh I'm just trying to I'm fighting with this balloon oh oh, oh sugar it's that wasn't me that was the balloon honestly oh flipping up floppers okay <laughs> Jeez Louise, you would not believe it. Okay, I'm going to pick up a little bit of the blue and I'm going to plop it in there. Oh, there you go. Sweet as sweet. So, I don't really want to do much to this, more to this canvas because it is cursed, the cursed canvas, which it's not cursed really. It's just that this particular one, I have not had any luck with liking what I've done on it or liking how it started to dry it started to craze but I think that is probably the best one that I've done on it so I'm just finger popping the edges pop 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 your finger on the very edges rightio I will bring you down and have a look at that and I think that's pretty good compared <laughs> to my other efforts. Really love the chaos blowout. When you do it all in the same tones, you can't really go wrong with it going muddy unless you put too much black in it. But all those colors are gorgeous and I know that when you actually give them a coat of, uh, whether it be varnish or the pouring resin, or re a resin top coat they will just pop I'm gonna bring you down so here it is here's that sweet little kiss in the center it's kind of I think that's fine I maybe could add drag a few lines through there to make it a definition a little bit more but the blowout the chaos blowout is pretty nice it's gorgeous I think so I'm happy with that. So, 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 I am just going <laughs> to see, I've got this camera always, ooh, 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 whether it dries well. Has some nice lacing, but not too much. And the colors are gorgeous. I love them, like I said. If this stays and doesn't crack or start to craze, can't think what I added to my paint that I don't normally or one paint or whatever that made it do that but anyway <clears throat> I'm quite happy with that I like it so I hope you do too and I thank you so much for joining me on this crazy day that I'm having today I must be going a little bit mental today because I yeah can't take myself too seriously can I so until tomorrow, you lovely people, thanks so much for joining me. I am so appreciative of all you sticky viewers, the ones that sticky, not stinky, sticky, stick, stick with me and watch my videos. And if you're new, join us on this journey. It's always fun and hopefully I'll bring something different most days and I'm here every day. So until tomorrow, my lovelies, um, stay well and bye for now.